I'm excited to have Grammy Award winning Kenyon Carroll trumpet player tonight here at uh, Stage Press uh, and uh, for some reason West Hollywood. Um, I noticed you you have several collaborations with hip hop artists. Like, um, uh, some big, 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 big. What are the essential elements of hip hop that influence your player you're playing over the years? And the idea of hip hop is just something that I, I grew up with. I mean, it's a part of the culture. I mean, I was fortunate enough. To, to take jazz in, but the idea of hip hop is always the soundscape of, of who I am. So I love, you know, collaborating with uh, collaborating with Big Crit. Go around, up. I love collaborating with, you know, people like Tommy, um, Big Crit, Mac Miller, Rest of Soul, Ray Z, Omnano, all those guys, they influence me, they inspire me, just like, you know, the great John folks, man. Freddie Hubbard and Miles Davis, you know, it's the same entity, you come from the same place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was it like working on the Miles Ahead Town track with, with Don Cheadle? I mean, funny you should say that Don is actually here. Oh, is he, he here tonight? Here. Uh, I Cheadle didn't see him. Here. Okay. He's okay. actually in the building here, so man, um, it was an incredible experience working with the incredible Robert Black and Don Cheadle on the score. That's who won the Grammy Award. Um, I got a chance to meet a stunt double with Miles Davis. Producers are on the same page with you, or do you, do you, do you like producers that contribute um, like new ideas to the project? I love anybody who contributes new ideas to, to, to any kind of way. Right. You look like a creative person, so I like the vibration with Jason. That's my man. Good time when we can make that project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's time for us to do so. Yeah, so no. yeah I'll let them know about that. Yeah. 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 So I see you're from Ferguson, Missouri. Did the Mike Brown incident influence your playing in any way? Was it a reflective moment for you after that happened? I mean, Mike Brown, yeah, Mike Brown's situation in Ferguson was such an impactful thing. I mean, it was ground zero for Black Lives Matter. I mean, I was in New York at the time, but the idea of the experience influenced who I am as an artist. Um, like, if people got a chance to see where I came from, all people got a chance to see where I came from, you know, where I came from, but it also gave us the opportunity for me to, uh, to write something special. So I wrote a song called Envy Lament. Oh, that was a tribute to uh, Mike Brown. Tribute to Mike Brown, Thanks. tribute to Ferguson, tribute to parents who lose their, you know, lose their children before his time. You know, that totally affected me as a person, as an activist. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, man, when I think of great trumpet players like Freddie Hubbard, Miles, Roy Hargrove, uh, Lee Morgan, what players have influenced your, uh, your playing, um, sort of laid down the blueprint of your career? Man, mm -hmm. trumpet Okay. I have to say, well, I love trumpet playing, I love trumpet players, but the people who really have been supporting me, the people who have really, you know, laid it out for me, um, I would go with, you know, I would say Bruce and I would say Miles Davis. Freddie Hubbard, Lash and Barrow, um, and you know, Rest of Soul, Boy Harbor, who well, was my big mentor, Armand, an incredible player. Uh, I'll, I'll also went to my son, which I know that he really, you know, kept me there. Yeah, man. I appreciate your time tonight, man. We had a good time at the show. We'll come back another Thursday. Oh, please, come back. Sure. Come through, come in.